Hi, so this is just a short update because I made three changes to the Rocket game. First thing is I wanted to create some kind of credits to show who made this game, to link to my itch.io page and to link to the playlist of this devlog on YouTube. This was the first time I created hyperlinks in the game that open in the browser and I had two learnings from this. The first thing is um, it's a good way to use a rich text label. I tried regular labels and link buttons, but the rich text label allows you to create some markup and to have links within the text. So you're free to, to create text that contains labels, but is not all label. The second thing is when you use a rich text label and you uh, use localization, um, the rich text label doesn't automatically translate uh, the text or put in the, the correct text if you use the key in the text or in the BB text field. You have to use code, for example, um, put in the ready function. Uh, the code that puts the text and uses the tr function uh, to get the right text. The second new feature, if you want to call it a feature because that's very generous, um, is the pause function. Um, there was a pause functionality already in the game. Um, I set it to the letter P, so if you hit the P key, then uh, you pause the game and a message appears. And when you hit P again, uh, the game continues and the message disappears. But the problem is, if you play this game in a browser, the game doesn't have the focus at first. So you have to click once into the game, so the game can accept keystrokes. So the player would have to click in the game and then can use the P key, which isn't a very good user experience because how does he know to do that? So I changed the pause functionality to a button. Um, and now there is a pause button at the lower left. And if you click it, uh, the game pauses and the pause button changes to a play button. And if you click it again, it switches back to the pause button and the game continues. Um, this is much more intuitive for the player. The third feature is a short period of invincibility for the rocket. I had a colleague play the game and she had the problem that when there are many obstacles on the screen uh, you and you hit one of them, you're likely to hit more of them. So I introduced two seconds of invincibility after you've been hit and at this time the rocket will flicker. This is very common in games, um, going back to games like Super Mario Brothers, um, where you're invincible after you've shrunk from the big Mario to the small Mario. That's it for this update. It was a very short one, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways. Bye.